हेलो गाइस दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन व्हिच इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्रीवियस सीरीज ऑन एएसए ट्रांसलेशंस वन ऑफ द ट्रांसलेशन आई हैड नॉट कवर्ड वाज ट्वाइस दैट वेयर एंड यू वुड बी चेंजिंग बोथ द सोर्स एंड द डेस्टिनेशन ऑफ योर पैकेट सो लेट मी जस्ट शो यू द सेटअप शो इंटरफेस आईपी ब्रीफ show name if so so basically what i want here is i want one of the pcs here So this PC 192.168.18.3, which is on private, I want that whenever this PC is going to a server which is available in DMZ zone over here, okay, um, and uh, just give me a minute. Um, this server over here, okay, so. The server over there is one seventy two sixteen one dot. I guess it's dot two. Okay. So show running object in line. So this is part of the previous one. Mm. Okay, DMZ server. So this is my DMZ server one dot two, and I want that whenever this subnet host. Inside network, which I showed you the inside PC, which is part of the subnet. Eighteen. Okay. Whenever uh, host of this subnet, they are going to uh, this server, which is in DMZ, uh, and if it is going to port number eighty eighty, so I have already created this. Show running object. Type service. I've already created this object. Okay, it should get translated to the PAT IP, which is this IP dot ten. So your server is one dot two, but it should get translated to one dot ten. Okay, so and yep, port number eighty eighty, which is. an object over here okay so let's see basically what what i want to happen is from this pc right here from this pc over here whenever you access this address On one dot two one port eighty eighty, this should go as okay. Uh, you should be able to reach this server. Basically, uh, you are reaching this server over here. Let's see the service is running. active and running so now what do we expect is yeah what we expect is whenever you access this on port 8080 which is this server should get translated so for this we are we are supposed to write down the rule and okay give me a minute let me just show you the setup quickly so setup goes like this this is your firewall you have a uh, inside pc over here so this is your inside pc and apart from this you have okay you have your dmc server over here
this is your DMZ server so this is your this is your inside PC which is 192.168.1.3 if I'm not wrong 18.0/24 and this portion here is your DMZ server which is 172.16.1.2 okay and you have a pat IP 172.16.1.2 10 mm. see so I have an object here called that IP which is 172.16.1.10 apart from that you have a service object which is port 8080 this is mapped port so this is for TCP port 8080 and you have another object and this particular object is for another service object you have and this service object is for TCP port 80 that's your real port okay so this is your ASA This interface here is your DMZ with security level of 15. And this interface here is your inside with security level of 100. Okay, so now I uh, want to write down a rule. So all these objects are ready here. Okay, so one object is here. This is for port 80. Another is another object is over here. This is for port. 8080 we have uh, an object for inside subnet we have another object for DMZ server and when from inside you are going to DMZ server your address should change to this IP alright so show running So here is your NAT rule. Okay. So again, like we have done in the previous one, this is green, the real one. Red is your mapped object. Again, this red here is your mapped and this second object which is same is your real and same goes over here so there is one here uh, right so again this one is your source zone so um, put it in black and DMZ is your destination zone here. Put it in right. Okay. So let's do it in three portion. It's a single line command, but this portion is for destination. And this portion is for your destination. All right. So this is what I'm. I want to happen. Okay. So NAT is applicable when you're going from into DMZ or DMZ in back. Source dynamic source is inside network. This object is 192.168.10 here. Then next portion. Just give me a minute. then so this is your source information and 
this is the IP what you should get translated to which is here and this should all this should happen when you're going to this destination okay which is this object here so destination object remains same but what changes is your port number from 80 80 it changes to 80 the real port okay and then it goes to your DMZ server over here so the rule is right here and all you got to do is the testing so when you try to connect here you should be able to see show translations over here okay so for your source this is the translation this is the translation for your source it's tcp pad from inside this is your inside ip the pc ip and when you when you are in the destination zone your source address becomes 1.10 okay so this portion is that portion is happening here so when your source is 192.168.18.3 sub ip okay your source becomes 172.16.1.10 this happens for your source information in the packet destination portion remains as it is now destination portion you can see over here this portion so destination when you are on inside your IP address is 172.16.1.2 and port is 8080 as you can see here 172.16.1.2 and port is 8080 this is real address so again let me put this in green so you, as a part of your destination here your real destination is 172.16.1.2 uh, and port is 8080 so if I draw out the real packet this it's like this 192.168.18.3 this is your real source real destination TCP some port number 12345 source port and destination port is 8080 source port and this portion here is destination port okay this is your source IP and this portion here is your destination okay in the same packet after translation it begins like this So this portion, wait first let me put this in red, this is a translated one and this IP here becomes 172.16.1.10, the PAT one. This destination IP remains same but the destination port now becomes 80, okay as you can see over here. So you are, when you are on inside your IP address is 1.2 and port is 8080 but when your packet is in DMZ zone it's 172.16.1.2 and port 80 you can see over here SRIT these are the flags so it's a static port mapping okay and for destination it's identity means you are netting or you are changing your IP to yourself and we are, we are doing a twice net which means we are changing both source information and destination information in the packet so as, as part of this you should be able to observe it right here so you end up changing source here okay you end up changing destination to itself okay and you end up changing the port 
destination port from 8080 to real port which is 80 okay so if someone is accessing this IP address but port number is 8080 he, he reaches this particular server here but on port number 80 and you have also changed the source to this IP address pat it against this IP address okay so this was your twice that you changed both uh, source and destination um, next video I will try to cover up some basics on ACLs how ACLs differs on your firewall compared to a router and following that video my plan is to cover um, some troubleshooting commands on your ASA okay depending on the packet walk we have done in part 9 okay of the series uh, the packet walkthrough on ASA uh, I will try to cover some troubleshooting there some troubleshooting commands uh, using the packet tracer command using the captures and trying to look at uh, the packet tracer of a particular capture so if you are capturing around 10 5 10 packets or 15 20 packets um, looking at the flow or packet capture of a single packet there mm, troubleshooting wise uh, I'll cover the firepower troubleshootings in a different lab because the packet walkthrough is uh, you add an extra module there firepower services so your packet get redirected to the firepower service module and it takes a different path so I'll cover up that portion in a separate video and I'll cover your firepower thread defense which is altogether different from these mm, so packet walkthrough for your firepower thread defense uh, I'll again do it in a separate video okay so Thank you for this.